Hello everyone, I must welcome you all to the webinar series, The B School Insider, all you need to know about your dream school and I'm your host Kalyani for this series. So today we will be focusing on IIM Mumbai, Prep Journey, Campus Life, Academics and Placements. And in this we will be uh, talking about the key points such as from NITI to IIM Mumbai, the transition, academics and programs offered by IIM Mumbai, infrastructure at IIM Mumbai, uh, IIM Mumbai versus SGM SOM IIT Bombay versus SPJIMR, placements at uh, IIM Mumbai uh, day at IIM Mumbai campus, wherein our panelists will be sharing some interesting photos from the campus. And of course, you know, uh, we'll, they'll be also taking questions from you all. So let's welcome our speakers today. We have Shilvi Singh from Batch uh, year 2025. We have uh, Ronak Makwana, he's also from Batch Year 2025. We have Rahul Kanwende, he's from Batch Year 2024. We have Rishikesh Kale, he's from Batch Year 2024. And we have Soham D'Souza, he's uh, from Batch Year 2020. He's a senior business consultant at Dr. Reddy's. Welcome all of you and thank you so much for being here today for this session. So let's start from the beginning. So let's uh, talk a little bit about the prep journey. And uh, since you know, um, now that you know, uh, Niti has become I am Mumbai. So let's concentrate a little bit more about your prep journey from the CAT uh, point of view. And uh, then you know we'll be also talking about the selection process and the personal interviews and the personal selection, uh, how the experience was and all. So maybe you know, yeah, you can start from your CAT score. Uh, your undergraduate background, uh, were you having work experience or were you a fresher when you were applying for MBA? Uh, so yeah, so we can start from the current students. So let's start from uh, Shilvi, then Rona, then uh, Rishikesh, then Rahul, and then Soham. Yeah. Yeah, Shilvi. Good morning all and thank you Kalani for inviting us. Uh, yeah, so I had a score of uh, 97.42 percentile and uh, yeah, so I started my uh, preparation in the month of March uh, and uh, talking about my background, I am an engineering uh, graduate and uh, yeah, I uh, specialized in uh, textile technology. I graduated from LD College of Engineering Ahmedabad. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's it about it. Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh... Work experience? Yeah, uh, yeah. I I work for uh, nearly six months in Wellspun India Limited as a GET. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, Ronan. Okay. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Kalyani, for inviting me. Uh, so talking about my CAT score, I scored ninety seven point eight one percentile. Uh, my background is uh, I have done BTech in Computer Engineering from PDPU. In the year 2022, and I joined I am Mumbai as a fresher. Hmm. Okay, okay, as a fresher. Ah, okay, yeah. So we'll talk a little bit about the cat uh, tips as well. You know, like you know, a little bit, uh, not a lot. Yeah. Okay, Rishikesh. Uh, so as for me, my cat percentile was around 98.5. Hmm. And um, previously, as for graduation, I completed my graduation in uh, chemical engineering from NIT Raoulkela. And after that, I worked in Reliance Industries for three years. Hmm. Uh, during those three years, I actually started, uh, I, I have given CAT two times, I think. Okay. Uh, mostly, I prepared for four to six months and uh, I had the help of IMS test series and it was the most relevant, I think. Okay. It was the uh, most relevant with the CAT at that time. So it helped hmm. me a lot. And hmm. uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Rahul. Yeah. Yeah. Hi everyone and thank you Kalyani for inviting us. So my CAT score was 98.84 percentile. So I did my graduation in information technology from Mumbai University and post that I worked in Oracle in Bangalore for almost four years wherein I worked across uh, different Oracle products. I was into ERP as well as there were many SaaS applications wherein I worked for. Post that I, this was my third CAT attempt uh, in which I cracked this and uh, now I am into IMO. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Soham. Yeah, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Soham. This is uh, the 2020 batch. So my CAT score was in the early 97th percentile range, uh, mm. 10 point something. And I had a 
92 plus sectionals in all three sections. I think that's one of the very important things yeah. in it. To hear all three sections with a high percentage. Mm -hmm. uh, prior to that, I had a three-year work experience uh, after my engineering. I've done my bachelor's in chemical technology from the Institute of Chemical Technology, Mumbai, ICT Mumbai. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was it about my pre-cat journey. Yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, let's move to the next section, uh, which is all about personal interview. So yeah, look, let's talk about uh, the personal interview, how the uh, how the panel, how many people are there on the panel, how was your personal experience, what were the kind of questions that were asked. Uh, so Mia, I hope you know you can jog your memory and remember what the kind of questions that were asked to you. <laughs> yeah, okay. So again, you know, we'll start from uh, the uh, current batch. Uh, Ronak, you can start, then Shilvi, then uh, Rahul, then Rushikesh, then uh, so on. Yeah. Ronak. Okay. Hmm. Uh, do you know personal, the yeah, your personal questions, the kind of questions that were asked and all that. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. So, as I uh, do, not, uh, do not have a bulk X, so my mm -hmm. most of the questions were about my academics only. I was uh, asked uh, questions uh, on basis of different engineering subjects, particularly in one of the interview, pa mm -hmm. uh, panelists only focused on engineering maths. Okay. So, this was, yes, yeah, <laughs> this was one of the experience. So, Apart you were asked from to that, solve, is it? Uh, at, no. Uh, I'm talking about uh, Niti I am Mumbai. Yeah, the personal okay. issues that you've had here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in uh, Niti, I am my uh, interview. Mm -hmm. uh, I was asked about uh, my research paper. Actually, uh, half of the interview was focused on my research paper. Mm -hmm. Apart from it, uh, they have focused on why I want to do an MBA and why now. So some mm -hmm. of the HR questions and uh, on my research paper. Then they have gone to. Uh, uh, I have I come from an IT background. So then they mm -hmm. have gone to machine learning and AI. So this was all about my interview experience at uh, IM. Mumbai. Okay. Is there a, a written test? Is there anything else um, uh, during the interview? Uh, is it personal interview and then uh, like is it the score then the personal interview or is there a GD what anything? Is there anything? Uh, in the no, it was oh. it was directly a personal interview at our okay. time. So uh, okay, uh, your time is the most recent time. So I believe yes. you know uh, hopefully you know things won't change. But yeah, let's see. Yeah, okay, shall we? Yeah, in uh, there were two panelists in my interview, and the main focus was on my uh, engineering project. And yeah. the interview went for like uh, 20, 20 minutes or so. Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, the I also uh, do not have much work X. So some of the questions were based on my work X, and uh, HR questions were there, and why MBA, why NET. Uh, mm -hmm. They basically uh, want to know, your, know the candidate. And okay. yeah. So and check the and check the confidence of the candidate. So mm -hmm. uh, majorly, my interview was based on my project, my okay. engineering project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So uh, since yeah, you uh, Shilvi, you just had six months experience, so maybe you know you were also kind of counted in the freshers uh, group. Yeah. Okay. So more questions from your academics and your uh, yeah your college days. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, Rahul. Yeah. So during our time, the process was entirely online. So I oh. said that before uh, there used to be a JD process, which would happen offline. But mm. since our process was entirely online, it was only a personal interview. Mm. So I had almost four years of work experience. So because mm. of that, most of the questions revolved around my work itself, like the kind of projects which I handled, what were the responsibilities I took, etc. And they were more focused on what did I, how did I contribute to the company I was working on, etc. So I had also had few projects on the supply chain part, which is, as we all know, which is the niche of NITI and now I am Mumbai. So they asked me a few questions on that. So, and there were two panelists and mm -hmm. the entire focus was mostly on my work ex only and having had four years of work ex, uh, why now I want to do an MBA and why not, why did not I do it prior? So mm -hmm. that was the entire uh, process. So how do you prepare for it? Also, yeah. So please provide also some tip, maybe, you know, one tip each. Uh, I'll come back to you, uh, Ronak and Shelby. Also, one, probably one tip that could really help them to prepare for an interview. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rahul, uh, yeah, how do so you prepare for that? I mean, all these questions and all that. The yeah, so it depends on what your profile is. So for mm. a work experience candidate, he should know all the projects that he has done. He mm. should know the nitty gritties of what he has worked on or what uh, how he has contributed to the company and what is the difference that he could make in the organization while he was working there. Okay. For a fresher, it's like uh, they mostly focus on academics. So they should be thorough of so 
by when i talk about furniture and when you're giving an interview for niti or i am mumbai they should be very well known or about the supply chain part of it because that is the question that they will ask obviously for each of the candidate they are interviewing mm. so yeah yeah rishikesh your interview experience your personal interview experience uh, oh and yeah. uh, were you guys uh, given any uh, uh, questions to solve uh, like math uh, and uh, rona and shilvi were you guys given any puzzles or any problems to solve when all that during your test no not just me no. yeah okay uh, not at niti yeah <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> yeah 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 okay uh, so for my interview basically uh, for because of the three year work ex it was basically focused on my work experience and my job responsibility at that point and the second part was basically uh, why i want to do an mba and why niti mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that most like comprise of both and mm-hmm. uh, my suggestion would be like uh, try to align your current job responsibilities with your future goals and why you are doing mba within it like mm-hmm. where are you going where you want to see yourself mm-hmm. okay. that will be the main thing yeah okay yeah so hum yeah so i think uh, my i am mumbai interview was pretty well balanced and uh, i had a three year work experience so more than an interview i felt it was a conversation so we ha- i had two faculty members and one alumni uh, uh, in the panel three of them mm-hmm. so it started with your general tell me something about yourself and then it sort of opened up and it was a mixed balance of work experience uh, and uh, the my college uh, so they had an affinity towards my undergrad college uh, and they were asking me about the chemical industry how do you see mm. it grow what okay. about organic pigments and something related to mm. my profile they had asked me and uh, also i told them that i volunteer with the art of living so they had asked me about cert- certain activities that you do and then what will you contribute to niti it was fairly balanced and it was more of a conversation i didn't feel like an interrogative feeling anywhere it was very well balanced they covered almost everything and it was about 12 minute conversation yeah hmm okay and we had a gd my time we had a group discussion before okay okay that was in 2018 uh, 2017 uh, so you guys had gd okay okay Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, also, um, attendees, I will be taking the placement questions, internship-related questions in the next to next section after academics. Yeah. So uh, stay in, stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's talk about. Okay. Yeah. Shall we, uh, Rona? Any tips for personal interview? See, the thing is, like, um, any any generic personal interview tips to uh, you know how to because obviously questions might change. the format might change but at the end of the day you are still facing uh, a group of people you know will be probably you know asking questions so any tips for that like how do they prepare uh, for that yeah i would suggest just be yourself and know your uh, resume better know how how of your resume and yeah mm. so mm. and just and just stay confident and stay yourself mm. yeah uh, rona anything specific uh yes one of the things that yes <laughs> uh, that uh, you, uh, do read one uh, business newspaper and one normal newspaper during the cat time mm-hmm. and uh, be well versed with the news that are uh, uh, regarding uh, your field of study like i mm-hmm. did in computer engineering so we have to go through the news that is happening in my sector so this yeah. are one of the important things mm, yeah great yeah yeah okay yeah okay uh, so let's talk about now the academic section so in academics now uh, first let's uh, talk about the uh, the subjects the programs that are there uh, who would like to take this question uh, can one of the 2025 batch take this question what are the programs or otherwise uh, maybe rahul and rushikesh you guys can take the question and rona can shilvi you can uh, pitch in yeah uh rahul uh, who who would like to take the question yeah uh, so yeah okay actually, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so the programs, programs. yeah mm-hmm. uh, talk about the programs and uh, how it has changed mm-hmm. uh yeah. since it has become mba and also uh, how much the subjects have changed maybe that uh, rona you can please add and shilvi please pitch in yeah Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. basically, there are three programs which are offered at IIM Mumbai. Uh, yeah. One is the MBA in General Management. The other is MBA in Supply Chain Management, and the third one is the MBA in Sustainability. Okay. So before that, also we had a very rigorous curriculum in terms of academics. 
like mm. uh, it is a very academically focused institute wherein there are approximately like 9 to 10 subjects each trimester so eventually we end up uh, learning 40 45 50 subjects throughout the two year course mm. so uh, having said that uh, there are also some micro credit courses which are offered uh, mm. so there are collaborations with uh, international as well as national companies so mm. there is uh, col- there was a collaboration with micron uh, there's a d2c supply chain which is running currently and also there is a blockchain course which was there so these are all industry professionals which eventually come to the campus and they train students they take lectures and uh, help them learn about what is happening basically in the industry so that way students can get extra knowledge about what is happening currently in the industry as well mm. okay okay yeah uh, rona uh, can you also talk about uh, the uh, the electives when you choose the electives have you chosen the electives already in the first year no not yet no. rishikesh can you talk about it then like how do you choose the electives and uh, their biddings and also how different are the programs now okay uh, so for the first year basically uh, all the courses are basically foundation courses regarding mm-hmm. operations and supply chain management mm-hmm. or uh, we can say business analytics it covers uh, all the segments of um, business management okay in the second year we have to be, uh, choose between the different electives and um, like specialization eventually mm-hmm. okay so uh like uh, as of now uh, there are different electives that are being introduced after becoming iim mm. so it may take some time but still mm. they are being introduced so next year we will get to see the yeah. like, new electives so mm. yeah so uh, i want to yeah, add something yeah, yeah, yes, so yeah, basically yeah. there are five domains in which the electives are offered okay. uh, one is supply chain and uh, operations uh, mm. finance uh, strategy mm. uh, sustainability so these are the domains in which there are multiple subjects which are put uh, into and then we can eventually bid for the subjects that we want and then the bidding process is done uh, and then we allocated the uh, uh, electives okay and this this will be done uh, like for ronak and shilvi it will be done in the second year second right? year yeah, yeah. Okay. in their fifth uh, trimester in the fifth okay yeah so uh, how different um, the the uh, programs were uh, uh, Were the yes, so, same subjects, or were, is it slightly different from yes, what so, you heard right now? Yeah, I think uh, what I heard is good amount of diverse subjects mm-hmm. are being. Mm-hmm. And they were there during that time also, and the demand also was pretty much there. Mm-hmm. So uh, we also had a trimester system, making it all the more rigorous and mm-hmm. uh, demanding uh, that you need to do a lot of things in less amount of time. Mm-hmm. and uh, the academic section also is pretty uh, rigorous in the assignments group discussions cases etc mm-hmm. okay and always keep up to the speed and rigor oh so mm-hmm. second year apparently you had a choice to tailor make your learning because of the almost the fourth semester of fifth trimester you had a bouquet of electives and that was in a way determined by your typical demand supply like how many people are going in bidding for that elective and your gpa your cgpa till that semester so if you had a higher cgpa you almost could select anything okay. so your gpa played a role in your elective selection and i think uh, the second year i completely tailored according to what i learned certain professors i wanted to do i also happened to do yeah. certain research projects with one of the faculty members so i, I it was completely the second year was up to me we had mm-hmm. certain compulsory subjects to take uh, for everyone for each and every batch uh, person but overall you could customize your uh, sort of learning so it was a pretty yeah. much liberal way of choosing the electives yeah okay great yeah okay uh, and and uh, rishikesh and rahul it has been like this for you guys as well in the second year i mean yeah in the second year it has been the same we have okay. to mostly choose the electives okay yeah. hmm okay yeah ronak you wanted to say something you wanted to add something uh yes apart from them in huh. first year we have uh, means uh, we have introduced a extra credit course uh, which are based on different tools that are used we have recently had a course on any logistics Hmm. and uh, apart from that how data analytics can be used so apart from the curriculum we have extra credit course that are also introduced okay okay yeah okay uh, tell me shall we uh, how is uh, right from the day one rather day zero at the campus how has it been so far as in how exactly is your daily uh, like you know your timetable uh, of a typical day at the campus 
in the first year yeah yeah so uh, it's been 3.5 months now mm-hmm. so first uh, there was a uh, our induction process so uh, from uh, day 0 or day 1 itself uh, uh, for me it was a cultural shift uh, i hardly had 4 uh, 5 hours of sleep and yeah so uh, and uh, from the starting we were we were focused on sip preparation and so first we had classes from morning 9 to uh, evening 6 and then uh, we were uh, focusing on our sip preparation and uh, uh, now uh, that sip uh, uh, as a pr- uh, process has ended so uh, now uh, my focus is on extracurricular activities i am a mm-hmm. part of uh, i am a part of committee uh, called prena management group ours and okay us. yeah so now i am giving my uh, time to that yeah so okay. first classes and then extracurricular and then various case competitions uh, also mm-hmm. took place so yeah okay yeah so pretty much a packed schedule yeah. and uh, yeah rahul and rishikesh is it like the second year is more chill yeah no yeah so compared to first year i can say it's uh, mm. yeah, a bit more chill but having said that you also have lectures so the mm. amount of lecture the frequency has been reduced but then ah. uh, it's a everyday process every day you have to go to lectures Mm. and after that you uh, t- like people take part into case competitions uh, mm. they do extra curricular activities some people are part of committees so they mm. engage their time there and also mm. there are some uh, pretty good uh, infrastructure in terms of sports which are available mm. so a lot many senior guys and also now juniors uh, they mm. come and play there there is a basketball court uh, there is a cricket ground there is football ground and there are a lot many indoor activities also there is a mm. pool table table tennis table so okay. a lot more people they engage themselves there Hmm. I believe now that you know in the next one or two years the infrastructure is going to improve even more now that you know it has become I am Mumbai uh, so to say yeah so uh, okay um uh, Bronak uh, and Shelby can you guys talk a little bit about the clubs and committees and Soham of course you know please uh, take over from there because since you know you've been part of so many things at the same time so yeah so uh, maybe yeah rona you can talk about the clubs and committees and if you are a member of any and of course you know shilvi has already talked about hers yeah hmm. so and actually, also it, it's not compulsory right to hmm. be no in, no it's not compulsory and it does not affect your overall profile to uh, when no. you are sitting for the final placements and all no <laughs> no, no okay okay yeah yeah rona Hmm. so talking about it uh, prena management group is one of our main committee which organizes mm-hmm. our annual fest avartan apart from that we have different clubs related to our specialization we have operations finance club marketing club consulting club mm-hmm. apart from uh, that we have uh, various other different uh, committees like alumni committee and uh, in, uh, admiss- admissions committee is there so these are some of the committees uh, that we have and uh, the selection procedure will start now after our sip okay so the most of the committees okay okay yeah, and you are part of which one uh actually only the okay, prena management yeah. group process was done prior to sip so i will okay. be looking forward to join different committees now oh, okay okay yeah uh, yeah so um uh yeah so i think uh, in there done that uh, sort of mm-hmm. thing so uh, i think these these folks are really anticipating the it's a big ritual the committee interview sort of and mm-hmm. after this i feel that something that the entire campus looks out for okay. because each committee is sort of offering a lot of things for the students and mm-hmm. they and i feel more than that it's about the camaraderie that you develop because the committee becomes your family for the next two years correct yeah so that's a very important bond like right now if you ask me i, I was a part of the alumni committee yeah uh, and i feel that the camaraderie like i'm still in touch on a weekly basis we hang out we meet and the kind of friendship that you develop because you're working for late nights for the events for the alumni festival so many events you keep doing and the senior junior bonding that happens i think the committee is something that actually Uh, uh expedits that sort of ex- uh, mba experience sort of when you mm-hmm. you hang out a lot you go out for parties you go out mm-hmm. for events and you also mm-hmm. develop that softer aspects of you the professional skill set mm-hmm. the group uh, the way of working in a group the yeah, presentation yeah. skills all mm-hmm. these sort of okay skill sets develop a lot while you work in a committee because that's where you are actually implementing a lot of things that you're learning in the classroom like doing some excel analysis making a pitch to a sponsor and given that it's at an mba level people expect the corporates also expect a lot amount of professionalism 
So mm-hmm. I did, I was a core committee member of the alumni committee. It is one of the most contested committees on campus. Um, and we did a lot of events together and I had a great time. I would say my time that I spent in my alumni committee was probably the most memorable um, uh, moment for me in Niti. Mm. Uh, and also I was uh, one of the leading members of the strategy and quiz club. Uh, I was okay. actively into quizzing. Mm. And uh, we sort of uh, took the quiz club to a lot of great heights. So there is a something called as a committee and there's something mm. called as a club. Club is very mm. related to a particular function or sp- a specific interest mm. group like consulting club, sports club, etc. Mm. So that's part of the strategy and quiz club. So there we would keep engaging with a lot of quizzes into B-school competitions. And I also led a NITI debate team. I am Mumbai. De- uh, NITI keeps coming in my mouth. Uh, I am Mumbai debate team in several inter school competitions. So I spend my time in alumni committee uh, during the entire... And in the second year, I worked towards developing the quiz club. And I also led the NITI, the I am Mumbai debate team uh, okay. for some school competitions. Yeah. Mm. So we had a very good debating circle during my time. Very professional debaters were there. And getting into the debate team also was pretty much contested. And uh, what two teams would make it to the debate team. And then we would represent our, uh, our alma mater in different campuses in Mumbai. Okay. Yeah. Mm. okay. I think everybody yeah. should, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm just saying that committee is something that I mean it's a no-brainer that you don't go to a committee or a club Get because it. kind of learning that you get there. I mean, it's it's a mm. great finishing school rather uh, along with your normal B school. Right. Yeah, yeah. I guess yeah, Rona can should be they have a they are, they still have a long way to go. The entire one year to look for and choose the right clubs or companies. Why choose I am Mumbai? <laughs> yeah, why choose I am Mumbai? I'm sure you know this can also be an answer to a personal interview question. <laughs> so yeah, who would like to answer? Maybe um, uh, Shilvi, can you answer this? Why I am Mumbai? Why choose I am Mumbai? This is from the cat aspirant point of view. So the ones you know will be. We are taking CAD this year and next year. So, yeah, and uh, Rahul, um, Vushikesh, and so on, please pitch in. Yeah. Yeah. So, my goal before uh, before joining I Mumbai and hmm. while preparing CAD, my goal was to uh, get into top 10 uh, colleges. Okay. So, I achieved that. And I am Mumbai, I am Mumbai is a financial capital of India. So that added advantage is there. Yeah. And the industrial connect and the alumni network, which uh, NITI has, it has a legacy of 60 years. Mm. So that is just an added benefit. Mm. Yeah, great. Yeah. Uh, Raul? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. so in terms of roles also, so for me, like uh, there are most biggest FMCG companies which comes on campus. Mm. And probably I Mumbai is the only campus in which they offer supply chain or IT roles for those mm. uh, kind of companies. So that is one of the reasons for which I wanted to join this campus. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, I feel that the what Shilvi rightly said, the alumni mm-hmm. connect. I've been in the industry now four years after B school, and the kind of respect that folks from IIM Mumbai have is unparalleled. I mean, yeah, no mm-hmm. other B school commands that kind of respect across. Mm-hmm. I mean, when they say that you're from IIM Mumbai or uh, erstwhile Niti, the kind mm-hmm. of adulation that people have towards you, especially in the industry. And given that NITI was one of the oldest business schools in yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rich alumni that we have all across in different uh, fields. Uh, that mm-hmm. is one of the main reasons why I am Mumbai. And somewhere we have been an underdog. We have sort of underplayed it quite, for quite a long time. And yeah, now that yeah. the IM tag has come, actually, it's like our That's moment okay. of the world sort of thing. It's not that it's suddenly a one one, mm. one sort of a burst outburst that came in. It, it has been a cumulative effort mm. by different people for so many years, yeah. alumni, faculty members, current students, which actually mm. is now the world is seeing. So it's not just an instant overnight success. It, there's a huge amount of hard work that the institute has put in. And the time, so I would say that uh, I am Mumbai is a school that gets the basics clear. They don't over promise anything. They get your basics, fundamentals, whatever you require as an MBA student. That's Clearly, the nuts and bolts are mm. clearly there. And I think Mumbai being such a great place, the campus, I think it's one of the best campuses. I've visited several B schools, but Niti campus, mm. I'm Mumbai campus. Yes, is it's so green. 
Yeah. One and, of the best campuses yes, in Bombay. Yeah, I mean the view uh, from the uh, hostel uh, is breathtaking. I don't even know how do people concentrate on their studies when you can see, especially during the monsoon and all that. I had visited the campus during the monsoon, which is uh, breathtaking. Yeah, and and of course you know with uh, and Mumbai has been asking for uh, and has been waiting for an IIM for a long time. <laughs> So yeah, so it, this has become like a, a huge thing now. So and of course, you know, in a year or two, we'll be able to even answer all those questions that a lot of students are asking about. You know, uh, the kind of selection criteria. It might change. It might not. And and things, uh, you know, the trends that it'll follow and all that. Of course, you know, those things we can only uh, well in the next year session I'll be able to cover those properly. But so, uh, for now, of course, you know, yeah, let's talk about what is the basic. Uh, well, this question is, I think, uh, what is the basic difference between a strategy and consulting club? Maybe Soham, you could take this question. Yeah, so consulting club is a separate entity. I'm not sure about. The current this is about five years, uh, uh, five years prior. So mm. the consulting club was majorly focusing on. They would have their own consulting case studies, and they would prep the juniors for the consulting companies. So mm. strategy and quiz club is more about how do you prepare for a case study, like the, the Unilever competition, the Dr. Reddy. Different case study competitions are there. So mm. the strategy aspect would focus on case discussion majorly like how should the first year students prepare and win those case studies mm. and the quiz part was purely a quizzing entity yeah. okay yeah uh, is there a student exchange program um at uh yeah i'm over so yeah. i think uh, my batch had a couple of my friends had gone to certain campuses in okay. Paris, in france mm. Mm. Uh, and I think the list is there on the website. Uh, anybody you know would like to check uh, specifically the B schools, the international B schools that are there affiliated with, uh, uh, you know, I am Mumbai. Uh, Rashikesh, I would want to add anything on the, uh, uh, you know, student exchange program. Are you guys any of you going for the student exchange program? No, uh, no we are. Means, uh, we are not going for any student exchange programs mm. as of now. Okay. Uh, but there are programs that are being offered. And mm. uh, after I am, uh, we are expecting there will be more collaborations in the international mm. schools. So that okay. is possible. Yeah. And there are uh, two or three questions I've seen, uh, which are about, uh, well, I'm which one should we choose for MBA? I am Mumbai or IIT Bombay? NMIMS or I am Mumbai? So let's take my question on this. Uh, I am Mumbai versus SGM from IIT Bombay versus SPJIMR. I'm taking these three B schools specifically because supply chain and operations is like a big thing in all these three. So which one and how? Yeah, if you have to really weigh uh, your, uh, you know, uh, your B school, and if you've got calls from all these three, okay. how to choose, how to take that decision? I how had an interview that? call with, yeah. hmm. with the other two names that you mentioned. Yeah, well. yeah. Hmm. And finally, I chose I am Mumbai because of several reasons, like hmm. which I mentioned in the earlier thing. One is the alumni connect because the placements okay. are majorly driven by the alumni presence yeah. in the company. Right, so mm -hmm. that is not very wide reach in the other two campuses. Okay, uh, yeah. Especially if you're looking for a career in supply chain. Well, now that there is a lot of diversity in the mm -hmm. profiles, so that was one of the main. It wasn't even a sort of decision for me. I I clearly knew that I am Mumbai was an aspirin. It wasn't even a mm -hmm. choice that I could make actually. Yeah, right. But I interviewed with the other two campuses as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Ronald, shall we? Anything you would like to add? Uh, yeah. Yes, Which actually, one? I yeah. <laughs> actually I had converted both uh, IIT Bombay and mm. uh, NITI at that time. So mm. finally, I went with NITI. There are uh, several reasons for that. One of the uh, thing is that the alumni base, and I have also observed it after joining the campus during various uh, properties of the companies that we have alumni at a very higher position in uh, different companies. Right. Apart from uh, that, the environment that we get at uh, I am Mumbai, uh, we are specifically uh, offering MBA. So the environment that we get at I am Mumbai is different from that uh, that we get for SGM So, so this yeah, were the two yeah. reasons that uh, why I mm. choose this. Mm. Yeah, Shri, you want to add anything, or uh, Rahul, you want to add anything? No, no, like mm? yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah, Rahul, no. 
Yeah, yeah. So basically, I am Mumbai as a campus. Uh, before becoming I am also, Niti was mm-hmm. a very particular and very uh, good B school before also. So mm-hmm. the kind of process that other B schools have, tier one B school has, the same process was in Niti. But uh, the only thing which was missing was I am time. And when I talk about my thing, uh, I wanted to get into uh, supply chain and IT roles. And as I talked mm-hmm. about, there are not many FMCG companies. So you name a FMCG company that comes to the campus and it offers supply chain and IT roles. Mm-hmm. So if you want something like that, then uh, there is no brainer that you should join IM Mumbai. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay. Let's talk about the internships and uh, placement. So yeah, this of course, you know, uh, I'll be taking majorly uh, this question with Rahul Vishikesh and Soham. Uh, so yeah, uh, Vishikesh, can you uh, take us through the internship process to the placement bit very briefly? Yeah. Please, please the process. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, as soon as the first year join, they have to actually appear for the summer internship process within mm. three and four months. <laughs> yes, yeah. So they have to actually work <laughs> hard for that period. Mm. And um, so, uh, for the uh, like actual internship process, uh, means the selection process will depend on each and every companies, and it will vary for uh, every companies. Okay. And uh, uh, yeah, so the, that's it for like summer internship. Mm-hmm. And uh, after getting selected, you actually have to do the summer internship during your summer break, April, mm-hmm. May. Mm-hmm. There may means uh, you may get the chance of getting a PP or not. Mm-hmm. And uh, in the second year, uh, there are actually like final placement process actually happens in uh, two rounds. So mm-hmm. like, uh, LRP and CRP. So LRP actually occurs in uh, around in November. And mm-hmm. so CRP it actually occurs in uh, like in January. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, you want to add something on uh, Rahul? Please add kitchen. Yeah, for the process. Mm. Yeah. So. Oh. Uh, yeah. So I think yeah. the process what Rishikesh mentioned was mm. more or less the same. Okay. Uh, the first three months are very very hectic and rigorous. Mm. You have to study much more. Uh, in a very short amount of time, groom yourself, take a lot of mock interviews. So the first three, four months managing the campus academic life is not easy. It puts you under a lot of pressure because you're competing with probably the best folks in India. So that is something that every MBA aspirant has to, even once they come to B school, it's not a rosy life that companies are there. You have to compete. And that sort of first four months is like really difficult. Uh, And uh, so... My internship was, I mean, I, I, I interned with Dr. Reddy's and I'm currently. Yeah. Mm. So, so you interned with uh, Dr. Reddy's. Yeah, uh, so, so it was a PPO, PPO. PPO. for you. Mm. Oh, okay. The reason why is because Dr. Reddy's was one of the rare companies during that time offering mm. product management roles. Mm. At that time in 2018, product management had just started to get into Correct. that. Yeah. I was actively following that given that I had some amount of experience of that in my previous mm. uh, company role. And I was actually looking for companies giving a product management internship and thereby yeah. a full-time corporate mm. role in the mm. product. So that was a very rare opportunity where the company came and floated profiles in specifically that year they came in only for product management in IIM Mumbai. And right. that is something that many other companies weren't uh, doing. So I yeah. actually uh, applied and I went for the interview and I was one of the first persons to get a internship offer and I happily accepted that uh, and it has been a great journey. So the internship experience is pretty much uh, tiring and it tests your metal truly and you need to be mm. thoroughly prepared and you, the first moment and there are seniors to guide you. You get a buddy mm. map to your profile and the buddy sort of helps you in your CV preparation too. So it's not mm. that you are alone. There are senior batches grooming you and they are actually taking it. It's like a family. I mean, everybody mm. wants students to get the best placements uh, on campus so everybody's helping helping each other out for the first four months very actively especially okay. the senior match members yeah generally the summer internship interviews are pretty short in that sense because yeah. they, the companies also know that the students have just come in so yeah. they just look at certain basic barometer checks like is the person uh hard working sincere does a basic aptitude fit comes in because many of these companies have an aptitude test like similar mm. to CAT before mm. and they generally check the HR question so not many technical questions are asked in the summer internship they just okay. know about your profile and they just mm. see if the person is able to talk well make sense mm. and do some amount of problem solving uh, final interviews on the other hand are pretty much intense uh, again okay. I don't have a first time experience ah, correct, yeah. but whatever you've heard from- whatever I heard is they generally go for longer duration because the fact that you have given an internship some of them have gone for life projects and come they've done 
uh, winter internships as well, which is an optional thing that you can do in the in the month of December. So you have a good amount of MBA, uh, I mean, work experience through the internships. So the companies there are very specifically looking for certain profile matches. So that's when they the interviews generally go about half an hour to 45 minutes. So multiple rounds are there. So that's more about the technical fit to see whether you really understand the job. Right? Mm. Because when you're LRB, especially people with work experience are able to apply. So it's a pretty much a detailed interview, much right. more uh, detailed than the summer internship interviews. Right. Okay. Yeah, Rahul, you want to add anything? Yeah, so it was pretty much covered by Soho and mm. Rishikesh. Uh, mm. So talking about SIP, uh, so it's uh, there are study groups which are formed and mm. there is buddy allocated. So the mm. buddy profile matches with the individual's profile so that he or she can guide you better according to your profiles. Mm. And there are study groups also, so in which a placement team guides uh, each study group and they meet every day and mm. they discuss things, they solve case studies and they solve consulting questions, etc. Mm. So that helps a lot during the entire SIP prep. And uh, talking about myself, I interned in Kimberly Clark in their IT domain. So it was a product management role in the digital center in Bangalore. So okay. it was mostly focused on designing, implementing uh, a software as well as a product, which they eventually have to launch in the coming year. Mm -hmm. So for which, yeah. for me, the entire process was very good. The internship experience was amazing. Mm, great. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Raul. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a question about, uh, can somebody uh, one the one question uh, Rahul when you were saying uh, that marketing is something that you know you can have a specialization so are you talking about like the MBA in general management in which you are taking a specialization or is it like marketing MBA in marketing itself. Yeah, so there will yeah. be uh, two kinds of specialization that eventually mm. they will offer. So mm. if you take three subjects in the marketing domain, then marketing mm. will be one of those two specializations that eventually you will get. Okay. If okay. you can't complete a specialization uh, in any of this, then mm. you will get a general management. General degree. management. Okay. That's what has been decided now. So okay, yeah, and and uh, okay, can you can somebody talk a little bit about the MBA in sustainability management? Is it a must to have a science background? Is there somebody you know who can actually answer this uh, from sustainability? Uh, Rona, uh, should should we? Do you guys have any idea about the sustainability management? Uh, yes, actually, I have yeah. friends in SF, huh. so huh. Uh, we do not need a background in science to pursue a uh, degree in SM but uh, after join after joining I am Mumbai they have to work rigorously for SIP during the three months mm -hmm. uh, to uh, be able to sit in the interviews uh, because the rules uh, that are offered are specifically designed for the uh, designed for SM mm -hmm. and uh, companies do offer rules in that particular uh, specialized domain yeah. only so interview will be driven on that topics. Okay, tell me something. So, when uh, during the placements, uh, the entire process, the recruiters are sitting for all the uh, MBA programs together or no? As in for SM, there were only specific companies that are coming and the student who is studying, who is an MBA in SM won't be able to sit for a general management uh, placement interview. How does it Sort work? of depends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it sort of depends from company to company. I mean, okay. No College so, policy so essays. They, they it say depends that, on okay, yeah, it's open for right. all or it's not open for all. So majorly, it's... whichever company comes in, there's one sustainability profile also that opens up. So it's majorly okay. the company's prerogative. College does not have much of a the institute okay. does not have much of a say in that. Mm, and there's okay. no person that is barred from inter and call it, the institute doesn't keep any barrier as such. Okay. Right. Depends yeah. on the company's asset. Yeah. Ha, okay. Yeah. Okay. I want okay. to add one point. Ha, ha. Yes, should we? There is no restriction as uh, such. Uh, mm -hmm. One of my friend is placed, uh, uh, who is in SM, is uh, placed in Amazon for uh, main uh, operations role. So okay. there are no uh, restrictions on mm -hmm. it. Okay. okay, great. Yeah, yeah. Because that's something that, you know, I'm sure, you know, even though nobody has asked that question, but that's a question I would like to know, like, you know, if I can sit. Or because how do, oh, oh, and uh, another thing is when you're sitting uh, for the interview, as in the selection, to the B school, to I am Mumbai. Is it uh, you have to fill that form that you want to get into this specialized this MBA program or that MBA program right at the start, right at the beginning? Is yes, it yes. while uh, oh. while uh, so, uh, filling the form of Niti? Uh, so in, how what if, asked? Uh, yeah. So what if you know I want to. Uh, put a tick for sustainability as well as industrial <laughs> like yes, just yes, yes. because you know i want to keep all my options open how do you do yes. that you can do that yes yes yes, yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, we just have to 
Yeah. Uh, we just have to give uh, preferences that uh, which is our first preference and which is our second. Okay. So okay. I had got in both the courses. My number one preference was the PGT IM course. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and and in case okay, what if you know in the first year you figure out like I don't want to be a sustainability program. Can I mm, shift to no? You're stuck. Is it? Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So one has to be very, very careful when they are choosing the program, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So um, uh, let's take a few more questions. Uh, oh yeah, what job roles are offered after MBA in sustainability? Uh, do you have any idea uh, what kind of job roles are there usually for? And who are these recruiters who are coming for sustainability? So each, so right now, ESG goals are something that is very much widely followed by each company, environment, safety goals, okay. sustainability mm -hmm. goals. And every mm -hmm. company is mandated to take certain targets, which is compliant with their corporate compliance goals as well, like reducing the carbon footprint, reducing the mm -hmm. ecological footprint. So that is something that is really very much driving many companies sort of culture conscious. So mm -hmm. that's why it makes all the more sense for sustainability, MBA, of course, to... Uh, take in people who have actually specialized into these uh, courses and every company right now every indian company there are there is a very good mandate from a corporate governance point of view on sustainability so those yeah. people fit in really very well so sustainability of course it's a very bright area it's some some amount of it is in strategic nature some amount of it is actual transactional safety aspects of it as well mm -hmm. so i think uh, the students do really very well and they actually happen and it is apparently the what i've heard is the best campus in india for sustainability mba mm -hmm. And many people senior up in the industry have done their MBA from uh, from IIM Mumbai in this aspect. Okay. Yeah. The roles are actually pretty wide. It could range from working in a consulting company on a sustainability project, yeah, working yeah. in an FMCG mm -hmm. or a CPG industry. Mm -hmm. It varies. I mean, yeah. And the student exchange program is is yeah. same for all, right? Uh, whichever programs you you are taking, you are opting for, right? No, is it? Uh, apparently, yes, I mean, yeah. Uh, but yeah, maybe you know one can always check the website for the final thing. Yeah, there is a question about how do you, uh, yeah, can non engineering students apply for operations specialization? Well, uh, from this year, they would be able to because since it has become IMO, right? So obviously, you know, there will be a lot of uh, diversity in the in the selection process. So, but one has to just wait and watch uh, what exactly are the parameters or the uh, you know points that you know they would be looking for. But yes, uh, yes, right? It is now they can, isn't it? Yeah. So basically, uh, the college they will uh, uh, huh. find the official circular which will be released in a week or two. So okay. all I need to say is just uh, keep checking the website wherein the mm. official information will be out soon. So yeah. just keep checking the website and you will get all the information about the courses and the application details there. Okay. Yeah. So by October end, you all will have these informations like, you know, what's the, yeah, also sure. there was a question about uh, what is the cutoff uh, CAT score that too will be actually decided and will be probably, you know, announced because I'm sure, you know, that will be also kind of probably recalibrated everything will be recalibrated so you just have to wait for a bit to figure that out uh yeah um there's a um yeah there, there's some questions that i saw in Nisha. yeah about placements uh what kind of placements uh just a minute i, I have to find that question okay how is the sustainability club is there a sustainability club as well club or committee yeah, there is a committee she i think that's the name okay. of the company uh, yeah. mm. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, can somebody uh, please answer um, uh, the placement bit, uh, like a little bit about the kind of recruiters who are coming in. Uh, so um, maybe, you know, you could answer this question. Huh. Roles in consulting, product management, supply chain and operations, marketing, finance. Uh, so these are the major roles that uh, the recruiters come. I have not seen HR related roles come uh, on campus. But these five uh, com five sort of domains or subdomains are very highly contested with all the marquee players in the industry coming. And you name any company, I think they would definitely have an offer. Even the top four companies or any field, the top companies which go to any other IM, they would they definitely come to the campus for different roles. 
and as uh, the team also said that right now till now supply chain wherever it is the intake had to be nitty but now mm. the given that yeah. it's become i am so we see that marketing will also start getting much traction it's not that uh, marketing wasn't there. there there were some amount of batchmates who would definitely go into finance roles and uh, marketing roles but majorly nitty was driven i am almost driven by uh, tech roles uh, product management roles consulting and supply chain these were the three core forte i would say from a placement point of view mm. but given the i am uh, i am sort of brand as coming the, the focus to marketing uh, placements also would be definitely much better in times to come mm. okay okay let's look at some photos yeah uh, some uh, infrastructure uh, the greenery the campus who will go first I don't have photos, but I can show you one uh, reel from my... Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, reels and photos, uh, both are fine. Maybe, Shilvi, you can go first. I am blessed, mm. even when I'm here, I'm feeling like... It's a campus, right? This life yes. has shown me all kinds of struggles and also opened up my heart like the greatest treasure chest. I have grown, oh, 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 oh. Yes, I have grown. And I'm Find my way home, yes, I am. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I am blessed. Even when I'm here, feeling like a mess. I am blessed. Yeah, I am blessed. Even when I'm here, feeling like a mess. This life has shown me all kinds of struggles and also opened up my heart like. I am blessed. Very nice. Yeah. This mm. is the heart of I am Mumbai. It is the wow. Niti Pond. Mm. Very nice. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, you started from the <laughs> from the last one, is it? <laughs> okay. Mm. Ah, nice. Uh, what is this? Uh, yeah. Also, tell us like what can you see? What's okay. the red building? Is it? Yeah. A, so. Hmm. Yes, so this is our main hostel block. This is main school's hostel, okay. uh, Swami Vivekanand Hall. It is mm. uh, uh, it has one of the amazing views. Mm. From uh, one of the side, we can uh, see the whole Hiranandani and Pawai uh, Lake view. And mm. from the second side, we can wow. have a view of uh, Niti Pond. Nice. And uh, is this the, so the dorms, how is it, the hostels, how is it divided? Uh, the men's hostel, the women's hostels? Yes. Uh, 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 which one is further from the academic block? <laughs> actually, both hostels are side by side, and okay. we have separate hostels for both okay. rooms and beds. Mm, okay. Mm. Yeah. How far is it from the academic block? Do you guys have to run, rush every day? We have to. Morning? We have to climb. <laughs> to go to the ALB block. Okay. Okay. <laughs> because our yeah, ALB block is at the hilltop, and our mm. hostels are downwards. <laughs> Okay. So we do nice. track on regular basis. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Good. Good. Good cardio then. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. these are the views of the pond. Uh, this is the basketball ground, and uh, this is uh, one of the uh, uh, this is one of the view from the back end of the campus where we can uh, view the Bihar Lake. It is uh, one of the most beautiful views uh, while we are walking from here. And uh, this is the ALB block. Our main academic block, and uh, this is uh, the academic building. Uh, that is a separate building that we have, and uh, this was uh, this was one of the class activities. Okay. So this is actually the cricket ground. So this one is the like we actually get. Yeah, that's the lake. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, this is the most talked fun. about place on the campus. Yeah. So yeah. a lot more friendships happen here. People stroll yeah. there every night. Yeah. So. Yeah. Can you? Are you allowed to swim in that lake? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the night view. Uh, mm. This is actually uh, boys hostel. Actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. And, uh, and uh, uh, boys hostel is also like one of the tallest building that we have on across all the colleges in India. So it's a 16 story building and it's one of the tallest boys hostel that we have. This is actually like the greener part. It's uh, in the back end of the college. Very nice. Yeah. This is actually the view we get from our hostel. It's not from our, it's, a, it's not of our college, but it's a outside. Mm, yeah. 
this is our academic building it is the way we get from the auditorium mm. male auditorium okay yeah i think very nice yeah that's yeah very nice so there are only two months left for cat so i want to first of all wish all of the participants uh, all the best for your cat mm -hmm. examination and other mb entrance examinations mm -hmm. and give as much marks as possible and keep analyzing them and uh, don't stress too much now just focus on uh, preparation and the result will come out good only yeah and uh, for interviews i would like to say stay be, uh, be yourself don't try mm -hmm. to fake uh, and uh, Yeah, no, uh, no uh, nitty gritty of your CV, and mm. no uh, prepare HR questions well by MB and by that college. Mm. Yeah, Ronak, you can give it from the CAT twenty four aspirants as well because there's those people are also there, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, some tip for them as well. So one of the main tips from my side is uh, I know that all are preparing for CAT, but uh, uh, the D day where the uh, students go to uh, give the CAT, uh, this is one of the uh, making break situations. So mm. keeping calm during the exams and uh, do not uh, uh, mess up the other sections because of your uh, the experience in previous section is one of the main thing. Because I have seen my friends who have scored ninety nine percentiles in mock scoring around ninety to ninety five percentile because mm. of uh, their performance on the D day. So and keeping calm and focusing on what is coming next is one of the important. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, Rishikesh. PI tip. So, as for the interviews, I would just say like, uh, stay confident. Whatever hmm. is the we have done, you just have to present it, present it nicely. If you are confident enough, you don't have to worry about the interview that much. Hmm. And uh, as for the cat, I would just say, like, analyze what uh, where where you are going wrong. uh try to evaluate yourself on day to day hmm okay yeah uh, round yeah starting with cat i think uh, solve a lot of mocks and also while you're solving it analyze it very thoroughly and please give ims uh, proctored mocks because uh, from my experience i have seen that they are the most closest to the actual cat exam mm. talking about pi just prepare yourself so whatever you have done until now in the hindsight uh, think about it so whatever answer you give be very honest And very upfront about it. Just don't fake things and just be true to yourself. So if you do that with confidence, I'm sure you will nail the interview process as well. Hmm. Right. Yeah. So uh, can you give a tip on overall uh, for people you know who are aiming for I am Mumbai and yeah overall some tip. Yeah. So I mean, right now, just don't think about. the college i would say just focus mm. on the cat exam because after that you have a lot of time and liberty to debate on what you do so right now just focus on and i agree with rahul ims mocks are almost very very close to the cat and i actually was a student of ims so mm. i really subscribe and the second is of course you have to prepare but don't give it too much importance also just know that you are bigger than the exam because if you place so much importance on the exam then you get overwhelmed that with the jittery vibes on that day just mm. know that yes, just another thing asani se ho jayega so too mm. much importance you give cat 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 then somewhere you get into that mental pressure just go cold blood and know that it's after all a math and english exam and any day also you can give it and just go with that uh, i mean uh, cold blooded attitude that Uh, i don't have anything to lose in this right so then if you place too much too much emotion doesn't mean that you are not preparing of course you need mm -hmm. to prepare but on from a exam taking strategy don't say that it is the life for you i mean just mm -hmm. know that you are much powerful more stronger and bigger than this exam mm -hmm. and regarding the interviews right now don't do any research about which college you know you have a lot of time after december once the mm -hmm. exam scores are out so right now just focus on the getting the Mocks right, analyzing and and don't have any sort of prediction that if I score so much in the mock, I will score so much. I have mm, seen people with eighties yeah, yeah. in the mock, seventies. They ended up in NITI with ninety eight, ninety nine. Yeah. So um, uh, that's all we have for today. Thank you all the attendees and uh, my special thanks to all the panelists. Thank you, Rishikesh. Thank you, Ronak. Thank you, Rahul. Uh, thank you, uh, Shilvi. Thank you, uh, Soham. Thank you so much for all your insight. Thank you. I am Mumbai.